Question 3a. This ought to be very easy, Marx. Um, we've just got to find the matrix AB, uh, but they're not two by two matrices, so just be careful with your method here. So we've got 3, 1, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, minus 1. We've got 2 by 3. We've got 3 by 2. These match, so we know the answer is going to be 2 by 2. Okay, but then in terms of the arrangement of these terms, um, for example, when we do the first row and we do the second column, the answer to that is going to go in the first row and the second column. So the answer to that times that is going to go here. So make sure you put the answers in the right place and just be careful with your multiplications. A couple of you mucked that up when I didn't expect you to. Okay, then totally separate from that, B, we've got C and D. Okay, E is C plus D, so we've got to add matrices, don't multiply them. So we just uh, have a matrix in the top left hand corner, we're going to get um, 3 plus 5, which is 8. So E is going to be a matrix, we're going to have K's in some of the other positions. And then it has no inverse, so these are trigger words. Okay, if it has no inverse, that means it's singular. Okay, um, which you don't have to think of, but you do have to realize that uh, both of these things uh, mean that the determinant of the matrix is zero. So the determinant of the matrix, remember the determinant is just the answer to AD minus BC. So uh, you calculate AD minus BC for this matrix, that times that minus this times this. Okay, um, and uh, that has to equal naught if we don't want there to be an inverse. So you're going to have an expression from here with k's in, which you're going to say equals zero, and then you're going to solve for k. That should see you through that question.